Good evening everyone, this is George from YourLocalMusician.com and today we're going to do a quick tip tutorial on replacing drums with ultra beat and flex pitch and this applies when you've already arranged your drums using um, audio files and uh, the reason that I'm, I'm doing this is because a guy that I actually used to work with who hadn't been using Logic Long um, wanted to be able to keep the arrangement of of his drums but to be able to slot in different uh, sounds so he could obviously see what sounds better with his track and uh, so when I asked him how he was doing that obviously he explained to me how he was doing it and the first thing that I said was well that's not really how I would go about it uh, as far as I know you can't do that I can't imagine any reason why you uh, why you'd be able to do that. Uh, so what I suggested to him is to use ultra beat and flex pitch. Now you use flex pitch to get the MIDI data. So how we do that is by making sure that your um, stem files are highlighted. If you go over to flex, turn that on. And for me, obviously flex pitch is turned on by default here. But as you can see right here, I've got MIDI data. So what I want to do is go over to edit and go all the way down to create MIDI track from flex pitch data. And as soon as I hit that, I've got a whole bunch of new um, MIDI data. Now, as you can see here, the timing of it is a little bit off. So what I do is obviously by default, Although all, all those MIDI datas uh, right there are actually um, highlighted, so all you really have to do is to get it on bar, because on on this track uh, my my kicks hit on. Oh, pardon me, my kicks hit on the one and the three, so right there. Oh, there's a little bit there that's that's popped up for some reason. So if we get rid of things like that, um, those kicks are in are now arranged exactly the same as your um, audio files are but now obviously what you can do is if I go over to my track and it's on classic piano at the minute so what we want to do is to go over to ultra beat down here go into stereo and my kick will be down here so if I just get up a a kick if it loads any time today there it is and I'm gonna go to my OVO kick grab just any old kick drum so if I go with number four and if I make sure oh sorry one thing silly old me is drag and drop samples and it's completely fresh no samples on there at the minute so what I want to do is just grab a kick and slot it right there so there it is so now if I just play my beat uh, if I mute these And yeah, that's really how you go about that. So if you're having um, trouble with uh, with uh, replacing your drums and that's the way that you, you track out your drums using audio files, uh, to do it really, really quickly and not have to um, track everything out again every time you want to try a, a new sample, uh, that's really the best way to go about it. So yeah, thank you.